Okay, guys. So now you have any questions from earlier about anything? Everybody's following okay? Okay. So now we're going to talk about weight loss. Who wants to lose weight? Okay, only two. You want to lose weight too? No? So we're going to talk about weight loss because this is a really big topic and it's very important. Okay, because this being overweight can lead to a lot of health problems. Okay, so we want to make sure we're maintaining our weight. All right, so, okay, so this is a picture of one kilo of fat, body fat. Right? How many people want to lose more, one kilo or more? Okay, so how far do you have to run, run to burn off one kilo of fat? How far? You have a guess? 20 kil uh, kilometers? Okay, anybody else? 30. Anybody else? How far do you have to run? 30 kilometers to burn off one kilo. Five, that's it? You have to run all the way to Dubai. Okay, you need to run all the way from Abu Dhabi to Dubai to burn off one kilo of fat. How many you want to lose? How many kilos? More than 50. Now how many? How many do you want to lose? 12 kilos. You need to run to, and from, to Dubai and back six times to lose 12 kilos. Do you want to do that? Not really, right? I don't think you, can you, you think you could run from here to Dubai? Yeah. You could do that in three months. In three months. <laughs> <laughs> so this is the problem, okay? Because it's not easy to take this fat off. It's not easy. Okay, so let's talk obesity. What are the causes of obesity? Okay, one of them eating very bad diet eating a bunch of junk, okay, and not eating what you should be eating, what the body needs. This is not one cause, okay? Another cause, overeating. You ever go to the buffets and you see these people with these big plates this big, they have three plates with this much food. Nobody needs to eat that much, okay? No one needs to eat that much, all right? You're eating all this food all the time, you're going to gain weight. Um, not exercising, this is going to contribute to uh, having too much weight. Also, medications, all right? There's some medications I've seen like steroids. You know steroids? Steroids? There's some people that take steroids and they don't change their diet and several weeks later they're blown up like a blimp, okay? Why? The medication caused their body to do that. All right, um, and then there's other medical issues that you have that can make you gain weight. Diabetes, PCOS, hypothyroidism, these can cause you to uh, gain weight, okay? So why am I telling you this? Why am I telling you about the causes? Do you know? Come on guys, give me a guess. Why am I telling you about the causes of obesity? What for? What's the purpose? I'm telling you so that because if you do not address the cause, you will never lose weight properly. Do you understand? If the cause of your weight loss is a medication you're taking, you will never lose weight if you continue to take the medication. Does this make sense? Okay? If the cause of weight loss is because, your cause of your obesity is because you're eating a bad diet and not exercising, if you don't change those, you will never maintain a proper weight. Do you understand? Okay, because a lot of people like to do this, what we call yo-yo dieting, like a yo-yo. You know what a yo-yo is? It's a little kid's toy. It's round and you do like this and it goes down and comes back up. It's a yo-yo, okay? That's what they call when people do this yo-yo dieting because they starve themselves, they lose weight, and then they start eating, going back to the same habits, and the next thing you know, they're big and fat again. This is called yo-yo dieting. We don't want to do this, and this is the problem, okay? This is one of the problems with it. So, just to let you know, there is no magic pill for weight loss. No, nowhere. You can spin, hello, let's not sleep, okay? Sit up, you can stand up if you want. 
Okay, if you need to stand up, we're not sleeping, okay? You need to pay attention. All right, so guys, there's no magic pill, okay? There's not. The people who make all this stuff, they, they make tons, billions and billions of dollars selling you stuff that doesn't work. It takes you years to gain weight. It's going to take a long time to get it off. It doesn't just magic, you aren't magically skinny overnight, okay? So, as, with that understanding, you also need to know, so in order to lose weight and maintain a good body weight, you need to do a lifestyle change. You need to stop the bad habits that you've been doing and change them. Then your body will be able to lose the weight and maintain that, okay? But you will not be able to do it if you don't go towards a healthy lifestyle, okay? You have to change. We don't want this yo-yo. We don't want to see people lose weight and then a week later gain it all back. That's so, that's so stupid, right? What you need to do, you need to make a permanent lifestyle change and eat healthier and move and exercise for the rest of your life. That is how it goes. I'm not saying you can never eat something bad that you shouldn't eat. You can, but you have to do it rarely rather than doing it every day. People who are eating bad food every day, they're going to gain weight, okay? So why do we need to eat food? What's the purpose? To get energy, right? We need to get energy. We need to move. We need to do stuff. We need to get energy. We get energy from our food gives us the energy, yeah? Now, what happens is the body eats three different things and turns it into energy. We eat what's called carbohydrates. This is a sugar, right? Carbohydrates is a sugar. It's like, it can be a sweet food, like a donut or candy, okay? Carbohydrate is also bread, rice, okay? These foods turn into sugar when you eat them. When you eat them in the body, they turn into sugar. Also, uh, vegetables, fruits, it's all sugar. Vegetable and fruits are better carbohydrate because they're full of fiber, but they're still all in this category of carbohydrates, okay? Now, we can also... Uh, so carbohydrates we can turn into uh, energy. Proteins. Proteins is meat. Meat, chicken, beef, seafood, shrimp, okay, eggs, and dairy, cheese, yogurt. These things are proteins, all right? And then the body can also turn fats into energy. Fats like oil, butter, yeah? So the body can turn these three things into energy. Okay, now, this is why I don't, you know, I don't eat plastic. You know what plastic is? Plastic. You know plastic? Yeah. We don't eat plastic. Do you eat plastic? No. Why not? You cannot turn it into energy. So we don't eat it. It's the same reason I don't eat wood. Right? If I'm at work and I have no food, I don't sit down and start eating my desk. Why not? You cannot convert wood into energy. Okay? So only these three things, carbohydrates, sugars, proteins, and fats. Okay, everybody with me? Okay, now in order to, for the body to turn these into energy, you need the correct tool, right? It's like, everybody see that nail in the wall? You see that nail? What tool did you need to put that in the wall? What tool? You need a hammer. If you don't have a hammer, can you put it in the wall with your bare hands? No, you cannot. Okay? So the same thing happens with the body. You can give the body sugars and proteins and fats, but if you don't have the correct tool, you cannot convert it into energy. Everybody with me? You understand? Okay? So I'm going to ask you, do you know what the tool is? What's the correct tool that you need? In the body, if you eat sugar, there's 10 different biochemical steps, and then you have energy. So every step, you need the tool. Do you know what the tool is? Anybody have a guess? Okay. It's called vitamins and minerals. You've heard of this one? Vitamins and minerals. 
If you eat a bunch of carbs or sugar and the body does not have enough vitamins and minerals to turn it into energy, what do you think happens? It stores as fat right here. Yeah? It stores as fat in your stomach. Do you understand? So, you need to have the vitamins and minerals to turn it into energy. Okay? Now, vitamins and minerals are not like a hammer. Hammer you buy one time, you can keep using it, yeah? Right? Vitamins and minerals are like tissue. You use it, you throw it, it's done, right? Vitamin and, vitamin and minerals, same thing. You use it, finished. So every day you have to put back vitamins and minerals every day. Do you understand? Do you understand? Every day I need to put vitamins and minerals. Okay, let's talk about where they come from. Where do we get this vitamin D? Sunlight. We get it from the sun, right? You cannot get this from, you can't get good form from your food. Okay, what about this one? Vitamin B12. Where does this one come from? Meat. Yeah, it comes from meat. You cannot get it from vegetables. Okay? So if you're a vegetarian or vegan, you have to make sure you're either eating some uh, meat products or that you're taking uh, B12 if you're not eating meat products, okay? Now, what foods, what foods in the world have the most vitamins and minerals? What foods? Yeah, what food has the most vitamins and minerals? Which one? Fruits and vegetables, right? Fruits and vegetables have the most. Okay? Now, the one that has the most out of all the vegetables and fruits, green leafy vegetables. You know what this is? Green leafy, like spinach, you know, spinach, drumstick, okay, uh, kale, uh, rocket, rocket, broccoli. The dark green vegetables have the most vitamins and minerals in the world. How many of you eat dark green vegetables every day? No one. Why not? This is where all the vitamins and minerals are. You need these. How many, why aren't you eating these green vegetables? Anybody have a reason? Because we are not home all the time. We are in the field. These green vegetables... They don't give you any green vegetables out in the field? No, not all the time. Not all the time. They need to be giving you green vegetables. So what I need you to do is take a PDF and fill out a PDF and say, tell us where you're at and that there's no green vegetables. No. Yeah? So you need to fill out a PDF because I can only do, if I don't know where you're at and I don't know who's serving this, I can't do anything about it. You write a PDF and say, this is where I'm working and they're not giving us vegetables, then I can come and do something about it, okay? Okay. So now if you're at home though, you eat them every day if you're at home? Yes. You do. I don't, I think you're lying. <laughs> okay, anyway, now, so veg we've established vegetables, fruits, meats, all have vitamins and minerals. What about rice and bread? How many of you eat rice and bread every meal? Rice. Yours, rice or bread, yeah? Or chapati, right? Yes, every meal. So, they must be full of vitamins and minerals, right? Because you're eating them at every meal, and you're eating a lot of it, right? Okay, let's see. All right, so we, in this one, we're going to compare a vegetable or fruit to a cup of rice, okay? In this example, we're taking an avocado, but you can take anything here. It'll be similar. You can take a cup of broccoli or um, a cup of, uh, you know, spinach. It'll be similar. Probably a little bit more, but it'll be similar. With the rice, a cup of rice, you can substitute here bread, chapati, okay, or pasta, noodles. Those are going to have the same amount of nutrition as the cup of rice. Everybody with me? Okay. So, 
Let's take a look. All right, so here we have our avocado, one cup. All right, in here we have vitamin A, C, D, E, K, minerals, calcium, iron, magnesium, phosphorus, potassium, yeah? Here we have a percent daily value. That means you need 100% of that vitamin every day just to stay alive. Just to stay alive. That doesn't mean to be healthy. It means to stay alive. To be healthy, you need a lot more than 100%. Okay? Now, let's take a look. For the avocado, vitamins and minerals, we have percent daily value, 4%, 25%. No vitamin D comes from the sun. 16%, 39%, 7%, 11%, 13 19 30%. Zero B12, we said, comes from meat. Okay, 21%, and no choline on that. Uh, minerals, 2, 5, 11, 8, 21, 0. The zero is sodium, which we get a ton of sodium in the, in the world. 6, 14, 11, 1. So it's kind of lacking here. Uh, in here, but now if you ate this three times a day, you ate this breakfast, lunch, and dinner, would you come close to getting almost 100% of your vitamins and minerals for the day? Yes. Are you guys with me? You're listening, yeah? Yes, if you ate this three times a day, you would, it wouldn't be full, but it would come close to having 100%, yeah? Okay, now let's look at the cup of rice. Again, we said you can substitute bread or pasta noodles, okay? So the cup of rice, zero, zero, no vitamin D, sun. Zero, zero, two, one, three, two, zero, zero, four. Minerals, zero, one, two, one, zero, zero. You guys see what I'm getting at here? The rice and bread have close to 0% nutrition, vitamins and minerals, do you understand? 0%, but you're eating this every meal, why? Are you getting the vitamins and minerals you need for the day? No, so why are you eating this all day long? You're wasting your opportunities to get in vitamins and minerals. Does everybody understand? Do you understand? White rice, zero. White bread, zero. Brown rice or brown bread has 1% more. What's 1% more than zero? Nothing. It's not, still nothing. Do you understand? Okay. Does this make sense to you guys? Why, you haven't answered me yet. Why do we continue to eat this all day if we're not getting vitamins and minerals? Why? To make our stomach feel full. Exactly, because it doesn't taste all that good. Especially if you're eating the brown versions, right? If you eat brown chapati and brown bread, it doesn't, it tastes like cardboard. So it's not that it tastes that great, okay? It makes you feel full. All right, what I need you to do is start looking at what you're eating and saying, is this gonna give me the vitamins and minerals that I need? Yes, no. When you start looking at food that way, you start eating better, okay? So, what types of, food, of foods cause you to gain weight? We talked about three types, carbohydrates, protein, and fats, which one makes you get fat? Which one makes you gain weight? Carbohydrates, sugars, right? Sugar makes you fat. Some people think fat makes you fat. How many of you have heard fat eating fat makes you fat? No, no one? They, they telling you that because a lot of people believe that it's the fat, not the sugar. This is the problem. It's not the fat. The fat is not making you gain weight. The sugar is making you gain weight. Okay? Sugar carbohydrates. They're empty calories. What does that mean? It means there's no nutrition. All it's giving you is calories of sugar. 
but there's no nutrition. They're empty. Okay? You want to gain weight and get fat? Eat a bunch of sugar and carbohydrates. Eat a bunch of bread and pasta and chapati. It'll make you fat. Okay, guys? So, just understand that. Fat does not make you fat. I want everybody to repeat after me. I must eat fat. I must eat fat. You need to understand that, okay? Because if you're not eating fat, you're going to be in big trouble. And we've seen this because everybody wanted to lose weight. In the last 40 years, they all stopped eating fat. And now everybody's sick with diabetes and heart disease. Okay? This is the problem. All right? You must eat fat. But you want to eat good fat, not bad fat. Okay? All right. So this is how most people are eating, right? This is how you get disease. This we call this the inflammation disease plate, all right? People on their plate eating 60 to 70 percent is what? Carbohydrates with no, no vitamins and minerals. Rice, bread, pasta, noodles, right? White potato. White potato at least has a little bit more nutrition. And then they... Sometimes people eat this just for breakfast. I know guys who just eat chapati for breakfast. That's it. 100% all sugar with no nutrition, no vitamins and minerals. Now, some people might add in a little bit of vegetable or a little bit of protein. But that's, this is how you get diabetes. This is how you get heart disease. You eat like this every day. How many of you eat like this every meal? Most of the meals. Most of the meals. Yeah, correct? You guys, you're eating like this. It looks like this, right? How many of you eat like this? What is this? Yeah. So how much nutrition are you getting from this plate? How much vitamins and minerals are you getting? Barely anything, a little bit from the meat. How, many, how do you feel an hour after you eat this? You feel sleepy. Why? You didn't give yourself any energy. Your body cannot make energy out of this. So what's it going to do with that rice? It's going to store it in your stomach. Do you understand? You understand? All right. These, all these meals, this is all sugar. Pasta with bread. You're getting a little bit of vitamins and minerals from the tomato sauce. This one also, this is a pizza, you get a little, this is mostly bread. There's a little bit of chicken on here, okay? This two people say, I eat Arabic, I eat very healthy. Well, not really. If you look at this, your cucumbers, cucumbers is not much nutrition. It's mostly water, okay? Which you need to eat, it's got some water and some fiber in it, which is fine to eat, but there's not much vitamins and minerals in it. Tomatoes got a little bit. Hummus. Hummus is mostly sugar. It's mostly sugar. It's not a diet food. It's, not, it's, it's got a little bit more vitamins and minerals than rice. Yes. If you had a choice between rice and hummus, eat the hummus. But it's not that much better than rice. It's mostly sugar. Okay? You're getting some vitamins and minerals in the eggplant. All right? So this plate, and this is all sugar, okay? And once you fry it, this is no good. It's fried. This plate probably has the most vitamins and minerals out of all of them, but it's still too much sugar and not enough vitamins and minerals for a meal, okay? So before I show you how you should eat, let's talk about ketosis. Ketosis means that the body is burning fat for energy, to get energy. Okay? The body can turn three things into energy. We said, what three things can it turn into energy? The body. Carbohydrates, which is sugar, fats, and proteins. Now, the body, if you need quick energy, very quickly, it will use sugar. Because sugar turns into energy very quickly. Now, it will use the sugar at first to get the quick energy, and then it will start using the fat. Because fat gives you a lot more energy, okay? So more than the sugar. The sugar is quick, the fat gives you a lot more. 
So the body prefers to use fat. But if you're sitting here feeding it a bunch of sugar, it's going to keep burning sugar, which is not all that efficient. Okay? And then the protein, it burns the protein when there's no fat or no sugar, basically when you're starving. And that means it's going to start burning your muscles. We don't want to do that. It, it does that, that's like emergency. Like we're going to only use it in emergency if we have to so that you don't die. But you really want to burn sugar and fat, not protein. And of course, it's better to burn the fat. So when the body is burning fat for fuel, we call it ketosis. Okay? Now, if you keep eating a high carbohydrate diet, rice, bread, the body's going to want to burn sugar. It's not going to want to burn fat. So if you want to lose weight, what do we want to do when we lose weight? We want to burn our fat, right? So if you want to lose weight, you need to get the body to start getting into ketosis. How do we do that? You stop eating all the carbohydrates. If you stop eating the carb, all these high carbohydrates, rice, bread, that kind of stuff, sugar, your body will start burning fat instead and you will start losing weight. Everybody with me? Okay. Now, you'll still be able to eat vegetables and uh, some, some people can eat fruit, some people can't eat the fruit if you're trying to lose weight. Even though those are a sugar, but they're a different kind of sugar because they have the fiber in it. Okay? But all these other ones, rice, bread, pasta, potato, has to be cut out to get your body to go into ketosis. Okay, so, and this is just kind of showing you a picture. What you can eat, what you cannot eat, because these things will make you burn sugar, it will make the body burn sugar. Bread, pasta, sugar, milk, rice, beans, the green, the, um, green beans, uh, Dal, lentils, black beans, red beans, it's all sugar. Corn, okay? You can eat these things, meat, vegetables, good oils. This will throw the body into ketosis. This will make you lose weight. Okay? Everybody with me? Okay. So, how do we want to eat? This is what your plate should look like if you're trying to lose weight. This is what you should, this is what you should be eating, okay? Every single meal, breakfast, lunch, and dinner. I want to eat, half plate should be what? What has the most nutrition in it? Vegetables, you guys listening, vegetables. Half plate should be vegetables. Half plate, vegetables, every meal, breakfast, lunch, dinner. We got broccoli, lettuce, any kind of green lettuce, right? Romaine, kale, rocket, butter. Malungay, drumstick, no iceberg. Cauliflower, Brussels sprouts, cabbage, capsicum, peppers, tomato, avocado, technically fruits, but we have them on here. Asparagus, eggplant, squash, zucchini, green beans, string beans, sweet potato, beetroot, onions, pumpkin, ladyfinger, bitter gourd, chayote, celery, cucumber, spinach, carrots. Look at all the vegetables you have to choose from. That's a lot, right? Half plate vegetables. The other half the plate should be, you said earlier, proteins, right? The other half the plate should be proteins, okay? Meat, any kind of meat, as long as, as, long as it is not deep fried. If you take, like Kentucky Fried Chicken, you take meat and put flour on it and throw it in a vat of oil, no, that's terrible for you. Pan, you can pan fry it. You take a frying pan, put a little bit good oil, like coconut oil or ghee, and you take your chicken and you turn it over and pan fry it, this is fine. Okay? Meat, any kind of meat, chicken, beef, shrimp, any kind of seafood, mutton, lamb, eggs, fish, nuts, cheese and yogurt, soy tofu, beans and lentils. Now, you can only have beans and lentils as your protein if you're vegetarian. Okay? If you're not vegetarian and you eat meat, you cannot have these because it's too much sugar. Okay? But if you're vegetarian trying to lose weight, we can use it as our protein. Okay. And then 
you need a little bit every meal of good fat, right? Good fat. What's that good fat? Good oils. Coconut oil, butter, olive oil, okay? Nuts. Nuts are a very good fat, okay? Uh, ghee. All right, these are the oils you can have. No canola, sunflower, that's a bad oils. And we'll learn more about that in the next sections, okay? This is how you want to eat. Everybody understand? Okay, and that's, this is kind of how it looks, right? Here's your plate, half plate vegetables, right? This is asparagus. And half plate, some kind of meat. And then you can have a good oil on it. So you can have, they made a little gravy with some butter. You see how to do it? All right? Every meal you eat like that. Here's some more examples for you. Every single one of these plates is following the plate I showed you. Do these look good to eat? Would you eat this? Yeah. It looks very good, right? Okay, each one of these half plate vegetables Check, we got a little green salad with cucumbers and a little bit of sweet potato, right? Half plate vegetables, half plate protein. Yeah, we got two chicken breasts, two grilled chicken breasts, okay? And then you want to put a good fat, you can put some olive oil on that salad. Everybody with me? All right, now this one, half plate vegetables. Yes, we've got broccoli and steamed carrots. Half plate meat, yeah, we got some fish, protein, fish, grilled fish. And then do we have a good oil? Well, you could put some butter on your veggies or you could cook your fish in coconut oil. Everybody understand? Okay. How about this one? This is an egg omelet. What's your protein here? The egg. Half plate protein, check, we have the eggs. Half plate vegetables, yeah, we've got tons of it. We've got mushroom, spinach, some red capsicum or tomatoes some uh, broccoli, some whatever you want to put in there. You see how this also follows that plate, right? And then you cook it in a good oil. You can put some ghee or some coconut oil to cook, to cook it in the pan. All right, this one's eat. This is a big green salad. You can have this for lunch. You put a protein on top. In this example, we have some grilled shrimp. And then you can put a good fat like olive oil with some lemon and apple cider vinegar or something. Okay, or avoca avocado on there, or nuts, right? Those are good fats. Now this one, this one also follows the plate. This one has berries, which is the one fruit I allow people to have if they're trying to lose weight. The berries, strawberries, blueberries, blackberries, those can count as your vegetable in this instance. So half plate vegetable, we'll say it's the berries. Half plate protein, what is this? Yogurt? Yogurt. Full fat, plain yogurt. And then you get some nuts. What are nuts? Your good fat. Right? Vegetable, the berries, protein, the yogurt, and your good fat, the nuts. You see how we did this? It matches the plate. You can have that for dessert or for breakfast. Up to you. Everybody see how to do this if you want to lose weight. Yep, okay, good, good. Okay, now, just to reiterate, uh, I want to tell you the difference between bad carbohydrates and good carbohydrates, okay? Bad carbohydrates have, we call them empty calories. There's no good nutrition in it. There's no vitamins and minerals. It's all sugar. You don't want to be eating these all day. They're going to make you fat. If you want to lose weight, you have to stop eating them. They will, you want to get into ketosis. Remember this word, we want to start burning fat. You cannot eat any of this. Rice, white and brown rice. Bread, white and brown bread. Candy bars, white potato, pasta, noodles, potato chips, donuts, pancakes, crepes, muffins, chapati. These make you fat and they have no nutrition. Everybody understand? Okay, now what are the good carbohydrates? Good carbohydrates, lots of nutrition, lots of vitamins and minerals, and fiber, which the body needs, okay? Now, we have under good carbohydrates, we have vegetables, fruits, lentils, beans, and whole grains. These are all good carbohydrates. 
However, if you want to lose weight, you cannot eat these because they will stop your ketosis. There's too much sugar. So if you're trying to lose weight, you can only eat the vegetables. Once you have lost your weight and you want to maintain your weight, you can add these back in. Okay? But if you're trying to lose weight and get into ketosis, you cannot have these right now. All right? That includes the fruits, the lentils, beans, and the whole grains. Okay? But vegetables, you can eat as many as you want vegetables. Everybody with me about good and bad carbohydrates? All right, good. Now, so eating low carb, we call this low carb because you're having lots of, you're, the only carbohydrate you're really having is the vegetables. But because they're so full of fiber, they're not going to cause the problems that these other, the rice and bread are. So you want to get into, you want to lose weight and get into ketosis? Stop eating the foods that are going to cause your body to burn sugar. Bread, rice, stuff like that. Okay? All right. And this works. This has been tried over and over and over again. And I see so many people lose weight this way. Okay? It works. And it's a healthy way of doing it. Now, your proteins, here's all your proteins. Again, it, beans and lentils only if you're vegetarian. If you're not vegetarian, you cannot eat these. Now, when you're looking at proteins, you want to make sure you're getting protein that's good, clean meat. Okay, because the problem is a lot of the meats are being treated badly. So, you want to get foods that not processed meat, not hot dogs. Okay, you go to the store and you buy hot dogs, those are terrible. Sausage, or you go to the deli where they have, they cut the ham and the, not ham, they cut the uh, um, chicken and the turkey. These, not very good, it's full of chemicals. So you want to go to like a butcher and get fresh meat that doesn't have all this stuff in it, okay? We're looking for good quality meat, grass-fed or organic, okay? You don't want food, uh, animals with added hormones. All right. Also, for the fats, we want to make sure we're not using the bad fats. These are the ones I mentioned earlier, right? These are terrible, and they will make you gain weight, okay? Canola oil, corn oil, vegetable oil, partially hydrogenated oil which is margarine, okay? And we're going to talk more, get into more detail in the Know Your Body section. All right, mayonnaise, sunflower, these are bad oils, okay? They cause inflammation in the body and they make your body gain weight that way, okay? Now, you got to, you take them and you go, if you are using the sunflower oil at home, you go home, you take the sunflower oil and you put it in the trash can. Understand? It's junk. It's very bad for the body. What oils do we want to use? Like we mentioned earlier, olive oil, coconut oil, butter, animal ghee, avocados, nuts. And you can also have omega-3 and fish oil. Uh, that you take by supplement. You don't cook with that. Animal lard is okay. Animal fat is fine if the meat is a healthy meat. If you go to the organic store and you get organic beef and want to use that fat, it's fine. But if you're getting a yucky meat that's full of chemicals and hormones, you don't want that fat's not going to be good for you either. Okay? Everybody understand? Good fats, bad fats. Okay. So, spices, you can have any spices you want. It's not going to affect your weight loss at all. Okay? Um, so, just to recap, you want to lose weight, you cannot eat these. Fruits, fruit juice, soda, diet soda, sweet foods, candies, cakes, pies, donuts, no, croissants, crepes, bread, white or brown, chapati, rice, white or brown, sugar substitutes, pasta, white potato, hummus, chips and processed foods, no, they're going to make you fat. Fried foods like deep fried chicken, fried shrimp, french fries, milk, no. Also, no oatmeal. I get so many people who think I'm going to lose weight by eating oatmeal all day. No, oatmeal is also a carbohydrate. And no whole grains at this time, no grains, cereals, okay? 
These are going to stop you, stop the body from getting into ketosis. Okay? All right. Also, never, never, never buy low fat. Why? You need to eat fat, number one, but also fat makes things taste good. Fat is what makes your food taste good. If you take the fat out, now the food doesn't taste good. So what the food companies do is they need to replace it and make it taste good. So what do they add? Sugar. They add sugar. So you find all these low fat foods and they're sky high in sugar. Do you think you're going to lose weight that way? No, not if you're eating all this sugar, okay? So this is what people don't understand. They think, I'm being healthy, I'm eating low fat. No, you're not. It's making it worse. So we don't eat low fat. Yogurt, full fat, no fruit, okay? Okay, also we need to exercise regularly, and he went, uh, Dr. Ron went over that earlier. At least walking 30 minutes a day. This will help you greatly. you got to keep moving. You keep sitting on the, in a desk all day, and then on the couch when you get home, your body's going to have a hard time dropping the weight. Okay? Uh, you also need to keep track of your blood sugars, yeah? People, uh, diabetes is one of the biggest diseases we have here in UAE. And that's when your blood sugars are going too high, right? Blood sugars too high. And this is very much associated with being overweight. Okay, if you're overweight, you need to check your blood sugars because you are at high risk for diabetes. Okay, so understand that losing weight is part of a de is doing a detox. What's a detox? It means stopping chemicals and toxins from coming into the body and then getting the ones that are in the body out. And Dr. Ron will discuss more about the detox in the healthy lifestyle section so you understand that clearly. In the, uh, with the liver, the liver is getting these toxins out. So losing weight, when we're overweight, the liver gets full of fat and can't get the toxins out very quickly, okay? So this is the problem. When you're losing weight, you need to help the liver get the fat out, okay? How do we do that? We do that by supporting the liver, all right? So there's some things you can do to help the liver. Methionine, inositol, choline. These are things you can take that will help the liver push the fat out. Okay? I tell you, we, uh, a lot of weight loss centers will give injections of methionine. Yeah? They'll do an injection, and this will, it's a, a, an amino acid that will help move the fat out of the liver. Very, very good for losing weight. You can also do what we call castor oil packs. And it's basically, you take a piece of cloth and you put some castor oil on it and you put it on top of your liver. And then you put like a plastic bag and then put a hot water bottle. And you just lay there for an hour. That will help the liver soak up the castor oil and this helps the liver get the fat out. Look, this is a normal liver. This is a fatty liver, liver full of fat. You want to be like this, not like this, yeah? All right, so that's liver support. And then you need to drink a lot of water. You gotta drink a lot of water. If you're not drinking water, the fat is not, and the toxins aren't gonna go anywhere. They're gonna stay in the body. You gotta get it out. All right, and then the other thing you need to be aware of if you have gained weight, if you have trouble losing weight, is emotional eating. And this is an issue for a lot of people because especially in the cultures here, we, we taught not to express our emotions. So if we get angry, we get sad, we put them down and act like we're not feeling anything. We need to be strong and not cry and not feel our emotions, right? So when we do that so much, we, then we start acting out in different ways that's abusive to the body. And one of them is eating. A lot of people, when they're very angry or very sad, very depressed, they go run and eat a bunch of ice cream or a bunch of sweet foods, a bunch of, they just want to eat because it's like they're trying to fill this hole that's inside of them. You cannot fill the hole with food. You have to deal with your emotions, okay? Unfortunately, that's the way it is, all right? 
some people will try to fill that hole with smoking. Some people will try to fill the hole with drinking, okay? But a lot of people do it with food. Somebody dies, their father dies, their mother dies, they all of a sudden gain tons of weight. Why? Grieving. They're grieving and they don't know how to handle the grief, so they sit there and stuff their face, okay? If you can tell yourself, hey, I'm not hungry. I'm eating because I'm upset. If you can figure that out, that's one of the big things to stop emotional eating, okay? All right, so, and stress. Stress is an emotion that can make us eat. People get stressed out. They start eating, right? This is an issue. Okay, so that's going to take us into the stress management portion. This is so important because stress can cause so many problems, and it does, all right? People aren't even aware of, of their stress. So what is stress? What do you think stress is? What is stress? You're overloaded, right? Stress, you're overloaded. Stress is, how, stress is your reaction to a stimulus, to a pressure, right? You're feeling pressure from your boss, you have a reaction. It's called stress. Okay, you feeling pressure from the fun, you don't have enough money. That's going to cause, that's stress, if you, re, when your reaction, okay. So, now some people, it takes a lot for them to get stressed, okay. Some people, no problem. They can sit there and take whatever just rolls off of them. A lot of other people, they, they're very stressed, okay. Any little thing happens and they're stressed out. Okay, so you need to, first off, find where you are. How affected are you by these things that are happening, by your family life, by your financial life, by your work life, okay? You need to understand your limits and how stressed am I? Do I am I a person who gets stressed very easily? Am I a person who can take a lot and I don't get stressed? That's what you need to find out. And then, because a lot of people... Again, they're ignoring those emotions, and so they don't even realize that they're getting stressed. And stress can cause so many problems, okay? Physical, physical issues, all right? It can cause, uh, like little children, when they're stressed, what do they have? They usually have a bad stomach, right? They usually like, oh, my stomach doesn't feel good. Little kids, that's how they experience their stress a lot of times. Okay, adults may have, you may have a headache. You may get stress headaches. Okay, you may uh, just get moody. You may feel depressed. Stress can do a lot of different things to you, all right? So, uh, it could cause muscle tension. Some people get stressed, and their muscles get tight, 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 right? And they're just like, oh, I'm stressed, I'm stressed, all right? Uh, stomach problems, sleep problems, very common. A lot of people, when they're very stressed, they can't sleep at night. Their mind's going, 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 going. Stress can cause so many issues. It will end up causing disease. So you need to prevent disease in the future. You need to work on your stress now. And we do that through stress management. Okay? So, uh, first thing, to be able to resist stress, is eat a healthy diet. Remember we were talking about the vitamins and the minerals in food, right? You need to have a lot of vitamins and minerals to be able to combat stress. When I'm eating very healthy, it's a lot harder to make me angry or make me sad. When I'm not eating healthy, like if I'm on vacation and I'm just eating whatever's available, eating a lot of sugar, a lot of bread, I'll get angry like this. Why? I'm not getting my vitamins and minerals inside my body, and it's very difficult for me to react to, my, to, to deal with the stress, right? So I'm a lot more reactive. But when you're eating a good diet like that, you're a lot calmer. You're a lot more able to deal with the stress, okay? So that's number one. All right. Number, some people, everybody deals with their stress differently. You need to find what works for you, okay? Some people like to meditate, okay? That's one of my favorites. I like to meditate because it's really calming for me. Great. Some people can't stand meditation. They can't sit still, okay? Then don't meditate. Find something else. Some people 
Go run. Some people go run, right? And then they feel so much better or they go like, go do some kind of sports. Okay, if that's the way you deal with your stress, great, do it. You gotta find a way. Some people find it um, stress relieving to go sit in a park with nature and watch people. Great, I don't care how you deal with your stress, you need to deal with it. Some people just go hang out with their friends. They say, I'm just gonna go be with my friends because that helps me to, to lessen my stress. Okay, whatever way, you need to figure out what works for you. Because what works for me may not be the same that works for you. Okay, um, avoid procrastination because this is a big cause of stress. Do we know what procrastination is? Anybody? This word. It means that you put off doing what you could do today until the last minute. So like say you have a project due in two weeks and you have time at work and you say, I could start working on this project that's due in two weeks, but I don't feel like it. I'm instead, I'm going to sit on Facebook. And then the next day you do the same thing. It's still too early to work on it. And the next day, and you don't work on it until the day, the night before the project's due, you're like, ah, my project's due tomorrow. I waited too long. And now you're, you're running around stressed out because you're trying to get the work done. You understand? Get your work done beforehand, before, and you won't be so stressed out at work. Okay? So that's a big, that's a big helpful tip. Okay, again, I said pray, praying, meditating, these are very good ways to help relieve your stress. Getting with your friends, okay? Also, uh, doing some deep breathing, all right? Just breathing deeply. If you're like sitting in traffic, that can help calm you down a bit, okay? Um, and then also remember, take breaks. Don't just work all day, all day, all day, and work, 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 work without taking any breaks. You're going to get very stressed. All right, um, scheduling me time. Like I said, go sit at a park, go with your friends, whatever, something for you. Go sit in a bathtub with bubbles, whatever you like to do, just for yourself, okay? Something that's gonna help relieve your stress, all right? And then another, uh, another tip is also change your perception because a lot of times what's stressing us is our perception of the, the event, of what's happening. And if you look at it from a different angle, you'll see it's not the monster that we make it out to be in our minds a lot of the time. We make things out to be this big when a lot of times they're only this big. Okay, so if you look, try to look at things a little bit differently. Okay, so that's all about stress. Any questions?